Hey everyone, Eric here. In this video, we're checking out the spirit animal from Farm Petals. The spirit animal from Farm Petals is a drive pedal designed ideally for bass, which is why you see me playing this bass, but it's kind of based around the 70s distortion. So we're thinking like, kind of like the DoD 250s, kind of like the rats, like the hard clipping distortion circuits of the 70s. We have a super straightforward interface with knobs for clarity, which is our clean signal, and gain, which is our distortion signal amount of gain. Jeff over at Farm Petals told me that he designed the, pedal, the spirit animal with a dirty amp in mind. So this is my clean signal right here. So we're, we're kind of gainy right now. Let's go ahead and just focus in on the clarity knob right here. I'm gonna turn the gain all the way up. We're gonna start with the clarity down at minimum, which is complete full distortion signal. And as we turn that clarity knob up, we're going to introduce more clean signal. So here is the clean signal. Here's the spirit animal. So again, you can hear as we turn that clarity knob up, we're blending between clean signal and dirty signal. At maximum, we get all clean signal. At minimum, we get all dirty signal. I'm gonna put the clarity back down to minimum and we're gonna move on to the gain knob. Now the gain knob kind of acts as, of course, how much gain you're introducing into your signal, but also kind of as a tone shaper. So at minimum here, we're gonna get kind of like a woolier or darker sounding distortion. And as we turn that gain up, we're gonna get a little bit more jagged, a little bit more trebly aggressive distortion. So here's with the gain all the way at the minimum. And then of course the beauty of the pedal is when we combine both the clarity and gain controls. I'm gonna leave the gain at maximum and then we're gonna kind of fine tune the clarity as we play.
Now that we've gone over the spirit animal with bass, I did want to switch over, change modes a little bit. We've got my guitar, but this guitar is my Squire Jazzmaster. It's got wide range humbuckers in it and it's tuned down to A standard, so it's a really low tune guitar. And I've cleaned my amp up a little bit, so here's the clean signal. And now I want to demonstrate how the spirit animal sounds with a lower tuned guitar. Let's go ahead and kick it on. I'm going to set that clarity down to minimum so we're only getting distortion sound and then we're going to go ahead and crank up the gain from minimum to maximum. So again, let's go ahead and dial up that clarity knob to introduce more clean signal. So now I wanted to share a really cool setup that I found using this low tune guitar with stacking the farm pedals bucket of nails dual boost pedal into the spirit animal to get, you know, a different sound and a more saturated sound. Right now we've got the spirit animal set up on a fairly low gain sound. Now what happens when we boost the full frequency side, the right side of the bucket of nails into the spirit animal is we get a lot more of all the frequencies because the spirit animal responds so well to low end. So let's go ahead and play a little bit and then kick on that full boost, the, the full frequency darker boost side of the bucket of nails. That sounds pretty gnarly, right? But what we can do is we can actually boost the full frequency side into the kind of like treble boost side of the bucket of nails to shave off a lot of that low end, tighten up our signal going into the spirit animal. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kick on that treble boost side of the bucket of nails. <laughs>
And now I've got my SG with P90s in standard tuning so we can hear how the spirit animal sounds on a guitar tuned to standard. So let's go ahead and focus in on that gain control. This is the clean signal. And then of course, let's go ahead and turn the gain down just a tiny bit and then focus in on the clarity. Again, that brings in more of the clean signal. Hope you enjoyed this look at the spirit animal from farm pedals if you did let me know in the comments below let me know what pedals you would use this alongside of or maybe what riffs or type of music you would play with the spirit animal so let me know that in the comments below thank you so much for watching if you haven't subscribed please i would really appreciate it if you did click the subscribe button before I get out of here, I want to send a huge, gigantic thank you to these folks right here, my executive producers from my Patreon page. Your support means the world to me. Thank you so very much. If you watching this would like to help support the channel here on YouTube and my efforts just all across the internet, that is a great place to do so. I will leave a link in the description below. Thank you so much for the support. Thank you for watching. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're staying safe. Most of all, I hope you're taking care of yourself. I'll see you in the next video.